In order to have a self-driving car or robo taxi, you really need redundancy throughout the vehicle at the hardware level. Um, so starting in, I, I was October, 2016, uh, all cars made by Tesla have redundant, uh, power steering. So we redundant motors on the power steering. So any one failure of the, if, 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 if the motor fails, the car can still steer um, all of the power and data lines have redundancy. So you can sever any given power line or any data line and the car will keep driving the uh, auxiliary power system. Uh, even if the main pack, you lose complete power to main pack, the car is capable of steering and braking uh, using the auxiliary power system. So you can completely lose the main pack in this, the, the car is safe. If you're as fascinated by cutting edge technology as we are, you're in for a treat today. We're diving into Tesla's latest breakthroughs with their full self-driving technology from the promise of robo taxes, cruising through city streets to the safety stats that are making headlines. We're breaking it all down with easy to understand insights and expert analysis. And we'll even touch on some of the tricky legal stuff that comes with such advanced tech. So buckle up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's start today's journey into the future of driving with Tesla. We've got the inside scoop on how Tesla is not just changing the game, but also setting new safety benchmarks. Will your next car drive you to your destination while you sit back and relax? How close are we really to this future? Welcome to Tesla Stock News, and let's get started. We've all been dreaming of just kicking back and letting our cars take care of the driving, and Tesla is making us one step closer to that. They're working on a really promising robot taxi program. According to their latest statistics, these cars could be cruising around town with almost no crashes, just one every nine to 15 million miles, which is like traveling to the moon and back without ever having a minor collision to top it off drivers of teslas with autopilot turned on are 10 times safer than those of us who drive our cars traditionally it's kind of crazy to think that just by letting the car take over you're way less likely to get into a crash with stats like that it feels like a no-brainer plus think of all the time you could save not having to focus on driving you could catch up on your favorite show text your friends back or just relax with a coffee 10 times that's like turning your regular car into a superhero car that avoids accidents like crazy. It's genuinely Chang in the game for what we expect from our rides. There's this thing they call the March of Ends Reliability Scale that's kind of like a report card for Tesla's self-driving tech. It helps figure out when these cars will be ready to go full robo-taxi mode, like without needing any. Help from us, and guess what? The numbers are looking good. They're getting closer to that day when we can just call up a car with our phones hop in and zip around town without a driver now. About these disengagements sounds techy, right? But it's just a fancy way of saying times you got to grab the wheel. Because the cars is not sure what to do well, Tesla's been crunching the numbers and there. Seeing fewer of these moments, we're talking about reaching a point where the car might only need your help once in a million miles. Imagine that you could literally drive around the earth 40 times and only need to take over the wheel once. That's not just impressive, it's a game changer it makes you. Think, doesn't it, with tech improving this fast, it won't be long before driving yourself around will feel as old school as using a flip phone, they brought in this expert CERN basher to break down all the technical stuff into something we can actually understand because, well, we're about to enter the realm of science fiction movies and it's exciting to watch it all happen right in front of us. And boy, did he deliver showing us all these charts and graphs that really paint a picture of how Tesla's self-driving technology works. Technology is advancing at an exponential rate. We are witnessing a marked decrease in the number of instances in which an automobile requires human intervention to resolve a problem. It's like watching a child grow up and require less assistance with simple tasks like tying their shoes. Here's a staggering statistic for the second quarter of 2024. When compared to regular cars, which had one crash every 670,000 miles, Tesla's on autopilot had just one crash every 6.88 million miles driven. This means that driving is no longer just about getting from point A to point B. It's about getting there safely, comfortably, and maybe even a little stylishly if you're in a Tesla. It's understandable why people are beginning to argue that driving is unnecessary when your car can do it better. With experts like Shern helping us see the big picture, these statistics show how much safer. Tesla vehicles are, it's easy to get enthusiastic about the direction that everything is going. Okay, now let's discuss some of the more difficult issues, particularly the legal difficulties. When it comes to their self-driving cars, Tesla may be facing a situation similar to that of drug companies, which are sometimes exempt from liability if something goes wrong with a new medication as long as all safety protocols are followed. As these cars become smarter and take on more driving duties without human intervention, a number of legal questions arise, and there's talk of potentially granting Tesla some sort of immunity from lawsuits related to their full self-driving technology. Think of it as a safety net that allows Tesla to advance this cutting-edge technology without constantly worrying about being sued if something goes wrong as. 
long as they comply with all regulatory standards. This is about promoting innovation while maintaining public safety, not just about safeguarding Tesla. This raises a significant debate similar to the one surrounding new medications and vaccines. On the one hand, you want these innovations to be available because they have the potential to significantly improve lives, but you also need to ensure that they are safe for general public use. Therefore, the question becomes how to strike a balance between innovation and safety. What measures can we take to guarantee that the advantages surpass the potential hazards? And when can we declare a technology suitable for widespread adoption? These aren't easy questions, and the answers will shape how quickly and safely autonomous vehicles become a part of our everyday lives. It's a fascinating discussion with a lot riding on getting it right for Tesla, for future innovators, and for all of us who might one day trust these machines to whisk us to our destinations. Now, here's a bit of info that might just eventually probably take longer than they think, but eventually all cars will be self-driving. Um, and the thing that will be hardest to replicate is uh, Tesla's manufacturing technology. So this is actually very important for, from a long-term standpoint, uh, things that may be helpful to um, road closures and that kind of thing. So it's like you're getting real. Time a Tesla ahead of you is seeing a road closure and you get that real time updated to your car. So you don't get stuck in the road closure situation. Um, that's that's the kind of stuff that I think we, we definitely, we are, we are working on right now, blow your mind, even when Tesla's full self-driving system is being supervised, that means there's still a person ready to take over the driving if needed. It's pulling out some really eye-opening safety numbers. This isn't just about small tweaks rather. This is a significant leap forward. Imagine being able to drive with a sophisticated co-pilot who is always alert, making your trip safer than it would be if you were operating on your own or even using Tesla's standard autopilot system. When Tesla presents the data for FSD operating autonomously under supervision, it's almost like having a peek into a future in which auto accidents are the exception rather than the rule. Not typical, the implications here are significant. We could potentially change the way we all think about driving. Data suggests that the more this technology is integrated, the safer our roads may become every time Tesla's FSD navigates a complex traffic scenario or deftly handles situations that frequently result in accidents. This isn't just about avoiding fender benders, it's about preventing serious accidents that can change lives. Data collection, learning, improvement, and above all, a decrease in the dangers of human error. It's as if we're on the brink of a new era in automotive safety where technology takes the wheel, promising us not just a smoother ride, but a safer one too. So think about this. What does it mean for the future of driving when the car next to you is statistically safer with FSD than without removing towards a world where keeping your car in manual might seem as outdated as riding a horse to work. That's the kind of game changing impact Tesla's FSD is aiming for. Let's zoom out a bit and think about the bigger picture here. Imagine a world where almost every car on the road is driving itself. Thanks to Tesla's FSS A sounds a bit. I, I write, but we're on that path. The chat around here is all about how this tech could seriously cut down on car. Accidents and even better save lives the more cars that switch to self-driving the safer our roads could become It's like every new Tesla with FSD is another step towards making car crash is a thing of the past and people are really feeling hopeful about it all There's a buzz that Tesla's FSD isn't just about making driving easier It's about making it safer with every update and improvement We're seeing signs that automobiles may be able to avoid threats even better than humans And let's face it. That's huge it means a lot to regular people like us, especially when you consider being able to send your children off to college or simply go to work without worrying about road risks. That concludes today's deep dive into Tesla's full self-driving technology. From hitting impressive safety milestones with one crash per million miles to possibly needing legal shields like those in the pharma industry, Tesla is steering us towards a future where robo-taxes are just part of. Everyday life, their tech isn't just about cool gadgets, it's about making our roads a whole lot safer, Plus, as Tesla keeps pushing these safety limits, the whole car industry has to step up its game. We're talking about raising the bar for what's considered safe driving all thanks to what's rolling out of Tesla. As FSD tech advances, what do you? Think of Tesla's demand for legal immunity. How at ease would you be having a car drive you around without a human at the wheel? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. We always appreciate hearing from you. If you enjoyed today's talk as much as we did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Tesla Stock News to receive future updates similar to this one. Thank you for watching and we'll see you around.